teacher. How are you today? I'm good. Very good. Could you tell me what you did in the morning? Mm, I eat breakfast. I ate? I ate breakfast. Okay. At 7.30. So after eating breakfast, what did you do? I do homework at the um, eight o'clock. Okay. Eight thirty. Eight thirty. Okay, you did your homework at eight thirty, and then. And I study at happy at the nine o'clock. Okay, so you studied English or math. Mm, I study English. Okay, did you study other subjects too? Mm. Did, you uh, did you study math? I study math and mm. Vietnamese at home. Okay, I see. All right, so you had a really, really busy morning, didn't you? Did you have a busy morning? What? Did you have a busy morning? No. No, it wasn't busy, okay. I guess you're a very, very good student. Very, very easy. It was easy. Okay, that's good to hear. Now, let's start with your speaking test. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, now, here we have four, uh, three pictures, okay? I want you to look at them carefully. Okay, we have... Simon, we have Jack, we have Stella, we have Lenny and Mira. Okay. Answer my questions. Number one, what is Mira doing? Me. Mira is here. What is she doing? She's playing uh, volleyball. Is that volleyball? With an orange ball? Basketball. He playing basketball. She's playing. She's playing basketball. Okay, basketball. Basketball. Okay. How about um, Simon and Alex? Where Where are they? Or which class are they in? They in the as art art class. Okay. So Simon and um, Alex here are in the arts class. How about Stella and Lenny? Which they are, are in they, the, they are in the math class. Okay, do you think math is easy for Lenny? Is it easy for Lenny? For me? For Lenny? Mm, uh, no, it's very difficult for Lenny. Okay, how about for Stella? It's very easy for Stella. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Now let's move on to the next one. We have another picture. Here we have students performing. We have students and parents here that okay. are watching the performance. Okay. So where are they? Are they in the supermarket? They are in the... Um, what kind of show are they watching? School? What kind yeah. of show is this? When students perform and teachers perform also, and the parents go to the to the school to see the, or to see or to watch the performance. It's a school. You forgot? School show. What is it? Class? School it's show. School. School show. It's school show. All right. So they're all witnessing a performance because they're watching a school show. All right. Now here we have. Who is that? In a Mr. Flower. Not Mr. Miss. It's a girl. Miss Flower. Okay. So, 
Could you describe to me who Miss Flower is? She's the woman. She's a woman. The woman. The woman who's who's been singing. Singing? Mm -hmm. More like conducting. But what is she wearing? Can you describe her using the She's wearing um skirt? Long skirt. Long skirt? Okay. What color? What? What color is the skirt? No, green. Green. Okay. So for for instances like this, it's very important to describe someone not only um, not only the the dress, the length, but also the color, or also what you said earlier about what they're doing. So that's a good job. How about Miss Robinson? What please? Could you please describe Miss Robinson? Um, it Miss. Miss Robinson. Miss Robinson. Okay. Describe her. She is the woman. This room a woman have a guitar. Who's playing? Who's playing the guitar? Yes. Okay, great. Now I want you to take a look at this picture here. I'm going to say a letter like A, B, C, D until F. Okay, so if I say, for example, A, so you have to describe letter A. For example, he's the boy who's sitting, okay? Okay. Mm, you have to describe using who is or whose. All right, let's start. Let's have letter E. E? Yes. E number five. She she's the girl uh who's who's keeping. Okay. How about letter B? Letter B? Mm-hmm. Who letter B? This boy. Okay. She ah uh, sorry, his he's uh he's the, the boy who's throwing a ball. Okay. How about letter F? F? Mm-hmm. I can't see. Here here. Okay. Um she's the girl who brings pink. Orange juice. Okay, good. She's the girl who's drinking orange juice. Great. Okay, so the next part of your speaking test is about measurement or measuring. And we mentioned about the units of measure, such as meters, centimeters, and millimeters. Okay. So listen caref carefully to my questions and answer them. The first one, how many centimeters are there in a meter? What? How, how many centimeters are there in one meter? It, um, 100 centimeters. Okay, there are? There are 100. Centimeter in the meters in a meter in a meter. Okay. How about how many millimeters are there in one centimeter? Millimeter. How many millimeters are there in one centimeter? Uh, one centimeter. One cent centimeter has. Uh, 
How many fingers do I have? 10 millimeters. Exactly. So one centimeter has one, uh, sorry, 10 millimeters. Okay. Now let's try if you remember the equivalent by answering more questions about them. Okay. Number one. How many centimeters are there in two meters? How many centimeters are there in two meters? In a twenty centimeter. If there are twenty centimeters, twenty centimeters, two hundred centimeters. In uh, in uh, meters in two in two meters 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 okay how about how many um centimeters sorry how many millimeters are there in three centimeters there are, um thirty centi. 30 millimeters in uh, centimeters. In three? In three centimeters. Oh, very good. Now let's move on to this one. All right. Okay. Here we have different activities that we can do at this activity center, both inside and outside. Okay. okay. So outside, normally, and the swimming events or swimming activities are done. And according to this, there are three of them. Could you tell me what are the three water sports or water activities that we can do? Um, um, riding, swim, swim, skip. Okay. It's swim, swimming, right? In skating, skating. skating. What, so. Water sports? Skating is not a water sport. Ah, water sports? Yes. It's swimming and so. Swim and fish. And fish. And fishing. And fishing. Okay, swimming, fishing, and Sailing. sailing yeah because they're supposed to be three right okay so if you could go to this activity center what would you like to do Lance? what activity would you like to do i want to um swimming okay you want to swim yes okay so how about an activity that you want to do outside? Uh, I mean inside, because swimming could be inside and outside. Okay. Could you choose another one here, aside from swimming? Okay. Dancing, climbing, or playing basketball? In the outside? Mm -hmm. Inside, inside here. Is um playing basketball. Okay, so you uh, want to play basketball too when you're at this activity center? Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's move on to the last part of your speaking test, which is about baseball and basketball. Let's see if you remember some very important details about the sport okay let's start so last how many players do we need to be able to play baseball baseball how many players yeah oh uh, um, nine players nine players how about for basketball either uh, basketball Yes, how many players do we need for basketball? Five players. Five players, good. How about the ball? Okay, so we're done with players. Now let's move on to the ball that each 
of sport uses. So, what kind of ball do we need in playing basketball? Uh, either um, bigger or it orange ball and big orange. 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 And have a la black line. Okay, it's a big orange ball. Again, it's a big. Can you say it again? A big orange. 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 Big orange ball. Okay, how about the ball that we can use when playing baseball? It's a small ball. Um, white. It's a small white ball. Okay, one more time. It's a white small ball. A small white ball. Okay. One more time. <laughs> Don't say okay. The small white ball. Exactly. Okay, so the last question for this speaking test. How do each team win? For, let's start with baseball. How does a team win baseball? Baseball? Mm -hmm. um, um, uh, baseball. How do they so, win more runs? Mm -hmm. uh, the and of the game. Okay, so the winning team has got to be the team with more runs at the end of the game. How about in basketball? How do we determine the winner? Yeah, in the basketball, have a forty minute. Mm -hmm. um, 40 minutes, and then what should they do in 40 minutes? Have a um, scoreboard team. Mm -hmm. With the team. Okay, the team which has the highest points, right? Yeah. Highest points in 40 minutes is the we. we is the winning team that's correct all right class well we, we are finally done with your speaking test um you need okay listen you need to study more and please do not leave your book at home okay bring okay. everything when wherever you are <laughs> for example today you are studying at your store right and near okay. the market bring your book okay okay and practice more on your pronunciation as well okay all okay. right so lance uh, you still did a great job but again you have to focus and study more you can do better next time all right and you may now go back to the main session with miss lay goodbye lance goodbye teacher see you later